Hey guys, this is the Sea Daddy. Uh, I haven't done a video in a little while, and I just wanted to conduct a little experiment uh, with the new skill tree using one of my favorite mechs, right? So I got the uh, the Jaeger mech, the JM6 Alpha, which is probably the second or third mech I ever purchased in the game. Um, I've been using it as a missile boat for a long time. A lot of people think it's kind of funny to have a Jaeger as a missile boat, but the way it worked out, the quirks this thing had uh, up until the new skill tree were the same as the, uh, the Catapult C4. So it had um, missile cooldown 20%, missile heat generation minus 10%. So with uh, the LRM5 module equipped, it had 32% uh, LRM cooldown bonus. And then I think it was another five on top of that for the elite cooldown skill. So I was able to fire pretty fast, but it would get pretty hot. But it, it was pretty successful. Um, I liked it. I've been running this build for years without changing it up. Uh, it's pretty maneuverable and durable, and I can carry a decent amount of ammo in this thing. So two main concerns with the LRM boat, right, is, uh, is getting locks as fast as possible, holding them, and then sending as many missiles as you can downrange to, to take advantage of those locks. So if you run a missile boat, you know the, the frustration of getting that lock and firing and immediately losing the, the lock. Uh, so you just want to do everything you can to avoid that, right? Stop wasting ammo. So uh, in this build, I've got the Artemis, of course, Beagle Active Probe, and Command Console. A lot of people don't like the Command Console because it's, uh, it's one slot and it's three tons. Three tons is kind of a lot when you're relying on something that's got to carry ammo, right? Uh, the trade-off, though, is 43% targeting time boost, which is which is pretty good. And you'll you'll see this thing locks up in probably less than two seconds. Uh, Beagle Active Probe to counter ECM. The Artemis gives a 50% bonus to lock time, the tracking strength, and 66% uh, bonus to missile spread. Got the tag laser that are on there, and that accelerates missile lock even further. And it, it claims to increase missile accuracy, but I don't have any way to verify or quantify that. So, armor's near max, and I've got 8 tons of LRM ammo, so that's 1,440 rounds. So, th this first clip, this was, uh, uh, I think, the last stream I did before this new skill tree. And... Uh, I, I think I only took this mech out once, so this is the, the one match I played just before the, the new skill tree. It's got the LRM-10 cooldown 5 module and target decay module in there. So without uh, ECM interference, you can see it, it only takes about 2 seconds to get a target lock, which is, which is awesome. But then firing the LRM-10s puts me right in the danger zone for heat after about 8 salvos. So, you can see through the whole match, my, my heat remains pretty high, and uh, even shut down once. Ultimately, I end the match with uh, 4 kills and 747 damage. So the next clip here, this is uh, the day of the new patch, patched up, and then took this thing out with uh, no skills, no modules, and just wanted to see how it, how it performed, kind of stripped down in that sense. Uh, so quirks didn't go completely away, and so now that it's enhancements, right? So the natural enhancements for this mech was uh, minus five percent to missile missile hit, hit excuse me missile heat generation, and minus ten percent to missile cooldown. So with no modules, the results weren't too bad. Uh, target lock was still pretty fast, but that was unaffected by uh, skills and modules in the first place. That was Artemis. Uh, again, I don't think, don't think the BAP does anything with uh, targeting time, but the command console, that, that helps out huge. Uh, target decay would have been great to still have, but still did pretty well. Uh, it doesn't fire as fast, it doesn't have the same heat penalty. Between those two things, uh, it actually ran pretty cool throughout the match. Um, definitely slower than it was, because I no longer have that 10% bonus from the speed tweak. But that was probably the only... Uh, old uh, efficiency that I really missed from uh, the Elite. Uh, 
And again, I think there was a cooldown in there too, like a 5% cooldown in the Elite. Uh, but it still ran pretty good. Uh, didn't hurt that it took place on Frozen City, not Tormeline Desert, but the difference was pretty significant in, in, in terms of heat. So at the end of the match, 636 damage and no kills. So I'm going to go in and uh, apply the skills. I had plenty of historic skill points, and I knew I wanted to put most of it into firepower or, or weapons. Uh, I wasn't concerned with the range enhancements for LRMs. The range is already pretty good on LRMs. Uh, and the, the further away you fire them, the more flight time, and that just gives your target more of a chance to evade, right? Uh, so that... <sighs> The most I ever want to fire an LRM is 900, so I'm really not looking to push it out further than that. Optimal is really like 700, between like 5 and 700. I definitely want to unlock the missile specific skills missile spread 1 and 2, high explosive 1 and 2, as well as uh, missile rack 1 and 2. Cooldown and heat gen and velocity. Uh, those are all great. I have no problem clicking on those, but I want to try and avoid spending skill points on unnecessary skills like Gauss Charge or Ultra AC Jam Chance. Next, I moved on to sensor systems. So my goal here was target decay 1 through 5, and I want to avoid as many unnecessary skills as possible again, right? On my LRM boat, I don't need advanced zoom, I don't need seismic sensor or radar deprivation, but sensor range and target retention, not bad. I like target info gathering, but can't maximize its effectiveness with this mech because I'm unable to target specific components. Although, uh, in, in some situations it helps out, you know, someone's got a UAV up and you've got five targets out there, and nobody's calling, you know, alpha, like, for support. You can skip through them real fast and try and find maybe somebody who's already hurting so you can put them down. Or if you uh, if you know you want to soften up uh, somebody who's fresh, if there's a, a fresh Kodiak on the, on the other side, that's usually a pretty uh, juicy target for the worms. So next I moved on to Auxiliary. I wanted the extra consumable slot. I used a few extra skill points to beef up my cool shots because I, I am still concerned with heat. I'm not sure how this thing's going to run yet. So last I moved on to operations. The goal here is to control heat as much as possible. So I selected heat containment and cool run. And then along the way I picked up some improved gyros and speed retention and hill climb, which is pretty useful. I don't have to worry about jump jets. And mobility is a big factor with this build. I mean, ultimately, I want to avoid brawling. I want to stay away from, from that type of situation because I'm going to lose. So I'm more worried about hanging back. So I don't need to worry about uh, you know, torso twist or yaw, any, any of that nonsense. Because uh, I've only got one medium laser on this thing, and it's in the torso. This thing's job is to hang back and throw LRMs downrange. So this is it, uh, third match, got the skill tree loaded up, and uh, right right away I was surprised. I wasn't expecting the, the ammo to go up as much as it did. I got an extra almost 300 rounds. So LRM rounds went from 1440 to 1720. Uh, awesome. Uh, my target locks were still fast, uh, enough that I didn't notice the difference between that first match I showed in this one was still very fast, and it was great to have target the K back that helped out. Uh, and as it turns out, heat was not a problem through the whole match. And again, those extra LRM rounds were the that was a huge help. So, uh, final tally for this match: the first match with the new skill tree, two kills, eight hundred eighty nine damage. Uh, so really good for the first time taking it out. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, I did some reading online like everybody else, right? And I was a bit apprehensive about the new skill tree. But uh, overall, I'd have to say it, it helped out a lot. So just being able to identify the specific role that I have for the mech and then targeting the skills that would make that more effective 
uh, really just made this a more effective mech. So I guess my goal going forward will be to identify the purpose uh, of each of the mechs that I have and really focus on that moving forward. So, hey, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, hit the hit the like button. If you thought it was complete trash, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, yeah, leave some comments below and I'll see you guys on the battlefield.